The Idell McCarthy Foundation is on a mission to combat the mental health epidemic, and they're doing so by creating programs and solutions for the community. That is why they are throwing the Mardi Gras for Mental Health Gala. They are shining a light while having a good time. Executive Director Sharita Sedek joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. I love your story because you really got into the mental health and wellness community because of good people around you. Yeah. So yeah. talk a little bit about how that all started. Uh, well, so my background is actually in um, live events and festival productions. And so a college friend of mine, she contacted me and said, I know that you're in festival production and I'm working um, with the opioid crisis and mental health up in DC. And so she said, I want to do something different uh, rather than just a regular community event. I want to do a festival. And rather than having vendors selling merchandise, I want all the vendors to be uh, community partners, health organizations and different things Things that people can get resources uh, to just kind of solve some of the issues and so that exposed me to the crisis that exposed mm. me to you know everything that was going on and how much people were suffering and so that kind of pushed me into that and then um, during the pandemic I started a lifelong dream of uh, this foundation uh, with the help of mr. McCarthy who was my sixth grade teacher mm. and he you know he had uh, some health issues at the beginning of the pandemic and he said you know that idea you had to um, you know give back and I said yeah he said let's do it now and so we started the Idell McCarthy Foundation which is in honor of him and my grandmother oh, so man. and you point out that it is such an epidemic the mental really? health crisis that the world mm -hmm. is, is experiencing so how does the foundation help in trying to get at that root problem there yeah, so we believe that education, awareness, and access are the three biggest factors to helping people with their mental health. So I personally believe that, you know, you have to deal with people as individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of the issues come with systems. We're trying to force people into systems and force solutions that may not fit for each individual. So we uh, host group therapy sessions, which is great because it kind of gives people that individual attention, but at the same time, it builds a community around them for them to understand that they're not the only ones going through these problems. And some people I feel like don't even realize that they have a problem until they sit and talk to other people. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so now you said your background is in live events. Mm -hmm. You're putting together your first actual event with the foundation, and mm -hmm. it's a Mardi Gras for mental health yes. awareness, Kayla? Yep. Tell us about it. Uh, so I'm really connected to New Orleans. I spend half the year in New Orleans. I uh, work for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. And so, you know, again, my background is in production. And every time people hear that I'm in between Chicago and New Orleans, they're always like, oh, Mardi Gras. I want to, I've never <laughs> been to Mardi Gras. I love Mardi Gras. I want to go to Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, perfect. Mardi Gras for mental health. And, you know, it's an opportunity to kind of just shed light on it in a way that's fun because this is such a heavy topic. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a, like you said, a lot of people don't know that they have an issue. And so I just wanted to kind of give people the information, present it and let people know that, you know, this is here, but also have a good time doing it. Okay. So it's a black tie gala. Uh, mm -hmm. What kind of things are they going to be doing at the event? Um, so we have Mario and the Windy City Ramblers. They're performing. Um, I've brought in new, uh, actual New Orleans Mardi Gras Indians from New Orleans. Oh, cool. Yep, they're coming in to do a second line for us. Um, they'll be, we'll have an auction of some things, and one of those is tickets to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Okay. Um, some artwork from some different artists, um, and then just a good time. Yeah, that music, yeah. you have to have a good time. Yeah, and I imagine it's, it'll probably make people feel a little bit more comfortable seeking mm -hmm. out the information if they're doing it in sort of a festive spirit. Yeah, that, and that's the whole goal, to be like, hey, look, we're all in this together. You know, um, nobody has to suffer alone. They shouldn't have to. And so just trying to normalize, normalize it. Well, because even the people who, who haven't necessarily themselves been affected by mental health issues, everybody knows somebody who has. Yep, everybody. And we really got to keep that conversation going. Going. Mm -hmm. All right, so there are tickets still available. Yes, and we're actually, with it being the official Mardi Gras Day Fat Tuesday, we're doing a special where you get $25 off if you purchase in the next 24 hours. Mm. So if you go to our website, the link is there, and you just put in the code Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And all there right, we go. and the event is Saturday, too. Saturday. Yeah, all right, Saturday. still yeah. enough time to get there and get your outfits and yes. get, get there and get going. Okay, Saturday, 7 to 12. 
2408 North Kedzie, uh, the Idell McCarthy Foundation social media handles and foundation.org is where you can find it, idellmccarthyfoundation.org. Thank you so much, Sharita. Thank Best guys. of luck to you. Yes. Thank you so much.